Hi, this is the seventh part on the course on consuming a REST API in Dart and Flutter. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can delete a resource in an API. So, if you remember, we implemented this functionality for basically deleting a note without actually deleting it in the API because in the first video we were just drawing out pages. So now we are finally going to make that work. So the first thing we should do since we already have almost all of the UI functionality done, we should go to our notes service and now going all the way down to the end of the file, we should implement the delete note method. So I'm just going to copy this update note and now we're going to change it up a bit. So since we're deleting a note, we don't need to send any data to the API except the note ID. We need the note ID so the API knows which note to delete. And let me just rename this to delete note. And now let's change the put request to a delete request. And since we're not sending anything to the API except for the headers, I can remove the body of the API request. And the rest of the code I think can stay the same. When we successfully delete something from an API, the REST standard, I think, uh, promises that we get a 204 status code. So yeah, I think that that's it. Now let's go back to our note list widget. And now if our result is true, then we can delete our note. So if result, which means if our note delete widget returned true, then we can call our note service dot delete note. And now we need a note ID and we're going to get it like this. Let's just paste that in there. Okay. And now we can get a result. Final delete result equals. And since this is an asynchronous function, we should await it. All right. So now we need to check if deleting our note was done successfully. Let's say if delete result is not equal to null. And if delete result dot data is equal to true. That's because over here in the delete note method, we're saying that if status code is 204, we're returning an API response that has data true. Okay, now let's open the body and then we can set the message and say the note was deleted successfully. All right, but if something else happened, then the message should be the error message that we get from our service. So let's say delete result dot error message. But let's put in here a null safe operator just in case delete result is null. But if our error message is null, we should provide a delete message or actually an error message. So let's say double question mark and let's say an error occurred. So basically what we're doing here, if we get some kind of an error, we say that our error message is equal to the error message from the result. But if that error message is null, then we just say an error occurred. But now let's extract this message variable into its own thing. So let me delete this and say var message. Okay. All right, and now we should show a snack bar that displays the message that we got. So here what we're basically doing is just showing the snack bar with a message that either says the note was deleted successfully or that it says the some kind of an error message. And that snack bar is going to last for one second before it disappears. And finally we have to return a result. So we'll just say return delete result dot data. And this returning result basically means do you want to remove the item from the list or no? So now we're saying if our date is equal to true, then delete it. If it's not equal to true, then don't delete it. But we also have to remember that delete result may be null. So we need to add another null check and just say, um, wait a second, false. Okay, now let me restart the app. All right, now let me create a new note. Let's say test note and let's say content Okay, let's submit that. The note was created. And now let's try deleting it. Are you sure you want to delete this note? Yes. Okay, we got some kind of an error. All right, so the way I fix this is I replaced the snack bar with a basic dialog that says done. And then in the message, it just says, well, the message. And we also have an OK button that lets us close the dialog. So now let's try deleting our note. Let me swipe it. Let's say yes. And then it says the note was deleted successfully. 
But now let me try another swipe and say no, and everything works properly. So yeah, basically in this video what we did is we created another HTTP request, and we used it over here, and we displayed the results. As simple as that. Alright, and that's pretty much it for this video. If you're finding this series helpful, definitely consider subscribing to the channel, because there's going to be a lot more awesome Flutter content in the future.